Hello and welcome back to Melissa in the Making. I'm Melissa. Today we're going to be going over my week 14 through week 17 updates on my intermittent fasting journey. I know it's been a while since I've been on here, but I just wanted to um, finally come on and give you guys an update. Um, just life has happened. I have been so busy with work at this time in my um, work career or just this part of the school year basically is when I struggle the most with my time management and that's just because I have a lot of deadlines that are due right before we go on to fall break. The week that I'm recording this I'm on fall break currently so I have some extra time. So life has happened and then in the evenings we are definitely doing a lot of different um, kid activities. My boys are in football, my daughter is in the um, kind of the end of her swim season now so we have been busy with that um, and then <clears throat> just having a baby slash toddler running around your house it's very difficult to try to videotape a YouTube video so my older children are home with me this week and they are watching her so thank you to them they are just these amazing kids that help me out so much and um, so anyways um, Let's go ahead and get into the numbers and talk about how I've been doing over the last four weeks. So let's get making. All right, so welcome back. If you're new here, um, thank you so much for joining us. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for my subscriptions or to my channel, um, your subscriptions mean just so much to me, and I appreciate you guys following along in my journey. I plan to be on YouTube for a while. This journey is going to go on, I think, for quite some time, and probably in the next you know, year, we'll definitely, hopefully, get to some maintenance type things, but for now, we are in the weight loss mode. Um, so if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You will be getting my updates pretty regularly. I know I have skipped a week of updates or two. I do two weeks at a time, and I know that I've skipped one recently, and that's just life. Life has happened uh, on top of all of it, just feeling unwell and needing rest. So that is happening as well. But I wanted to, you guys all to know that I'm still doing my intermittent fasting journey. Um, I am keeping up with it. Some days are way easier than others. Others, other days are just so difficult to, you know, make it to the 16, 18, whatever hour mark. Um, so sometimes I just want to eat just to eat. And I am addressing those feelings personally. Um, if you have never been on an intermittent fasting journey and you're thinking of starting, please just be mindful that this isn't an emotional journey as much as it is a health journey um, and a weight loss journey. Um, you will go through so many emotions. And really, I think what that goes down to is your just your relationship with food. And I have noticed that I just like to eat just to eat, not because I'm hungry, not because I need to, but I like to eat food. And I, I don't know if any of you can relate to me, you know, the, that whatever those food sensations do to my sensory <laughs> um, input in my mouth and my nose and how it makes me feel. It just gives you that euphoric feeling. And I definitely struggle with, you know, battling those urges to not eat until a certain time other I and like I said there are days that are so easy I stay so busy I get to five six o'clock in the evening and I'm like I'm so ready to eat and it's so overdue time right and then there are days where it's you know 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm thinking can I have cream in my coffee yet like I just I just don't know so I struggle as much as anybody else out there but I know this is for just so many good health benefits and I am excited to see what the long-term outcome is of this. Um, uh, if you haven't seen my history, I'm trying to cure some of my gestational diabetes slash prediabetes, um, medical stuff that I've had in my past, as well as some other kind of skin conditions I have going on. 
Um, we are still battling both of those, and so I continue on this journey just to make that um, health journey, those health changes within me. Excuse me, I'm still battling like just a head cold in general, and it just will not go away, so it's hard to breathe at times. Um, let me go ahead and just go over the numbers, and then I want to talk about kind of how I'm moving forward. Uh, I was doing, the last update, I was doing some alternate day fasting on Mondays and Wednesdays. I have moved away from that. I think you will see the first week kind of, my weight kind of resembles that. Because um, I think that first week, week 14, I was still doing the alternate day fasting. I have moved just one meal a day and I feel like I am being more successful with just one meal a day for consistency pur purposes um, and just not overeating on the up day. So I'm, I'm just learning how to really be mindful of my total amount of like calories I'm taking in um, because I feel like sometimes I do take in too many calories um, and not, it's more like too hearty of calories. It's um, too fattening, too whatever. So I'm just kind of being mindful of that. So let me go over some numbers. I'll put a little screenshot of all of my weight numbers. I weigh every day and then I take an average and I do that just so I am being mindful of my weight loss and where it's at. Um, some days it helps, some days it doesn't. Some days it's, you know, just information and some days I'm like, well, that's a bummer. <laughs> um, but for the most part, I just am taking it as information. I wanna have it, I wanna track it for myself as well as for you guys so you can kind of see those changes in my weight. Um, week 14, I was, Monday was 167.6, Tuesday was a 169.6, oh wait, sorry, Sunday was a 167.6, Monday was a 169.6, Tuesday 167.2, uh, Wednesday 169.4, Thursday 166.6, Friday 170, uh, Saturday 171 and I also think to that was the week two that I was on my period so um, I think on Thursday it started so Thursday I weighed that would have been after a down day so that was a very low weight but obviously I started to retain water quite quickly in those two days and I jumped up to the 171 that gave me an average weight of 168.7, which is up from the previous weight of 168.4, so I'm up a point three. Week 15, Sunday was a 170.0, Monday was a 170.2, Tuesday was a 169.0, Wednesday was a 168.2, Thursday's a 169.6. Friday is a 168.8, and then Saturday is a 167.4. The average is 169.2, so I am up a 0.5. Really not going in the right direction. It's just so frustrating sometimes. Week 16, um, Sunday is a 166.8. Uh, Monday is a 166.4. Tuesdays a 167.4, uh, Wednesdays a 168, uh, Thursdays a 168.8, Fridays a 167.8, Saturdays a 167.8, and then I had an average weight of 167.5, and so I got super excited that week, and I was down 1.7, which I think kind of just follows my cycle. I go up, and then I go down, and then I go up, and then I go down, and so it's just really kind of annoying <laughs> when you're trying to like make it in the downward cycle but that's okay I know that there's healing going on and I know that I have a lot of um, fat in my midsection that needs to kind of go away and lose skin um, from just having babies so I think my body's been working on all of that as well so I'm being very very patient with my body to do what it needs to do week 17 Sunday was a 169.7, Monday's a 170.6, Tuesday's a 169.6, Wednesday's a 168.4, uh, 
Uh, Thursday's a 170.4, Friday's a 170.2, and then Saturday's a 169.2 with an average of 169.7. And I will say, oh, and that's back up 2.2. So I'm like literally back where I started kind of. Yeah, it doesn't feel like anything grand happened. <laughs> So, um, I'm just doing this up and down right now and, um, I, I don't know. I know with that week I jumped up. So Wednesday at work, we had extra goodies. Um, so I opened my window longer. So then on Thursday when I had a 170.4, like I knew, I knew that it was going to be up because I ate all the goodies and then I, um, am probably retaining water and I don't do well processing out carbs and sugar. So that's kind of something I need to be mindful of. Um, so some of the changes that I'm going to be making um, moving forward, and I'm going to try. I'm not going to say I'm going to stick to it completely because I don't want to be super restrictive. I don't want to feel like I'm on a diet, but I know that a couple little tweaks I need to make. And I need to make them just because I'm naturally feeling like I need to make them. So one of the things I want to do is open up my window with um, some raw veggies. Um, I've been doing raw veggies and hummus this week, and I've really been enjoying that. So just more um, carbs full of water and um, fiber and just kind of letting everything just kind of move move through my system nicely. And I think that's a nice wake-up call to my digestive system to get things moving. And I have seen some impacts of that. I am going to be starting my period again this week, so I expect the scale to go back up, but um, I'm hoping that in the next couple weeks we will have a better update. So hopefully by the next update I do in two weeks that we will see the scale kind of really go down, but we'll see. I've also been trying to incorporate some walking and running, um, and this last week I decided to go on a run and walk, and I'm um, hopefully trying to just get some physical movement in. It is difficult with my schedule and with the baby to try and fit that in. So um, I'm going to try some early morning stuff while my husband is home to watch the baby. Um, but that means I have to get out of bed super early. And I'm really just not sure I'm going to be successful with that. So we're just going to see how that works. But here's to hoping. Anyways, we do go out on our nightly walks. And now that it's cooler here in Phoenix, Arizona, it's going to hopefully... Um, be nice enough to walk to the point where we can walk on longer walks and I can hopefully get a nice walk in. So I might be able to walk and maybe do an extra lap or something um, without the kiddo and the dog and the husband, you know, because they just want to head home. But maybe I can incorporate some extra walking during that time. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to think of that. Um, and one other thing that you're going to probably be seeing in the next um, couple of videos here coming out, I'm going to be doing a 23andMe um, DNA and health study. And I'm hoping that gives me some insight into kind of what I'm predisposed to, what my genes kind of look like, how I can be eating to really suit my Dean gene. <laughs> not Dean, my gene, um, my whole genomes and all that and like just kind of what it looks like. I'm not sure. This is something I'm interested in doing. So I already have my 23andMe. It's sitting back there. You're going to be seeing me do that and I'm going to take you along for that little journey. Um, I'm not doing the ancestry portion. Um, I'm not necessarily interested in my ancestry. Um, ancestors right now um, that might be something I do in the future but for right now I'm just doing the DNA with the uh, health components so if you're interested in that please shoot me um, a comment in the comment section and I will um, send you the exact one that I will be doing but you will be getting all that info in a in a video here coming up so anyways I Sorry, this isn't super exciting and I wish I lost my weight. I can say I am now officially just in a medium um, t-shirt um, and just a regular adult shirt. I used to always have to wear larges. My boys wear medium shirts and we have some shirts from our church that we all have matching shirts and I, the one that I had in a large was too big for me. I was swimming on it. So I went to my son's room and said, can I have your medium? Can I wear that? And that was kind of fun to be able to steal his medium shirt and fit into that. So 
um, that is happening. Um, I do feel like my legs are smaller in my pants, but my waist is just still tight. I'm down to 37 and a half inches. 37, I believe 37 and a half, 38 and a half, 38 and a half. No, I think it's 38 and a half. I will clarify that on the screen if I am wrong in any way, because I can't remember. It's been a little while since I've measured. It's pretty much stayed the same over the last couple of weeks. I haven't made any major dents. I have taken some belly photos that I might share with you. I have seen some like slimming down on the sides of me and um, a little bit of, you know, smoothing out of the skin in my belly section. Um, so I have seen small changes. I don't know if anybody else can see those changes. If I were to sh was to show those pictures, um, I'm thinking down the road, I will show those once we can see some more dramatic results, but I am taking some of those photos so we can see those side by side later on. I haven't taken any new photos. Um, I am in my shirt today. I might do that, but, um, nothing's really changed so dramatically that you'll be able to see it. Um, overall, I feel like my skin is better. Um, I still have the energy and the mental clarity, um, that comes along with intermittent fasting. I drink my black coffee all day. I get my black coffee from Panera. If you're not signed up for Panera's unlimited zip club, please do that. That you it's unlimited. It's like $11 right now, $10.99. $11 for the month and you can just get your unlimited coffee every two hours. So every two hours you can go back and fill up. So in the morning before I head to work, I fill up a very large um, drink of iced coffee and I sip on that for the day and that kind of keeps me going. And I also drink water. And then sometimes in the afternoon I will stop and get another coffee with some cream in it or they have the bubbly water there too as well that you can always stop and get that is approved for your window if you don't want to do that they also have the black tea they have decaffeinated coffee regular coffee and all those lovely drink beverage options so um thank you over thank you to jackie o over at um intermittent fasting foodie for that suggestion um that is something i have clung to for sure so um i'm pretty I'm pretty sure my drive-through lady um she She's starting to wonder where I'm at if I don't show up to get my iced coffee for the day, which is kind of funny. So I let her know on, on that I was going to be on fall break and that she wouldn't see me just so she wouldn't get worried. And I also have my dad hooked on that coffee as well. And so he um, stops by as well. And so now my dad and I have a relationship with our um, Panera drive through lady. <laughs> so it's just too funny. Um, hi, Diane. She's amazing. So thank you so much for getting my coffee for me every day. I appreciate you. But anyways, that's just my quick update. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I will be getting out some other videos here in the next um, couple days to get you guys all updated on my life and what's happening and some fun stuff. So thank you so much for um, coming, coming to my channel and sharing. Please share with your friends, have them um, follow along and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate that. We are over 300 um, subscribers at this time and I'd love to get to a thousand by the end of the year. That would be super awesome. So if you guys could help me out, I greatly appreciate that. You guys are the best and um, thank you just so much for all your encouragement. If you guys have any ideas to help me um, kind of get the scale to go down, um, I would really greatly appreciate that as well. So um, thank you once again for all that you guys do. Have a great day. Bye.